So got done hunting Southern Idaho with my good friend Jared and now heading to Colorado. Should be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see what Colorado has to offer. I have never hunted Colorado, so this is going to be a very unique experience. Um, my season starts November 2nd. Today is, I believe, October 31st? I think it is. So, yeah, today's Halloween. Um, so, can't wait. Can't wait to see what Saturday brings. I have tomorrow to scout, and then we'll go hunting. But I gotta get there first. I just think about all the times that we've taken our mules in the back country pack in this tent that I'm that I have in here and the wood stove and man makes the hotel sure nice oh I have one day in Colorado today before season starts um, this is the third season tag I've never hunted this in my entire life and I've never even hunted this state my entire life Travis has well, this will be very fun very interesting. I'm gonna check out, today I'm not gonna do a lot of hiking, it'll be more glassing. Um, more than trying to find a big buck before the opener, I'm gonna be looking for good areas to hunt. Um, that's pretty much my goal. I just need to find some good areas. And it looks like I'm getting into some country that I'm familiar with. There's some timber up here, so that's kind of nice. I like timber country. So. I see the first deer in Colorado in my unit. So I know there's at least one deer in this unit. I don't mean to be a wuss, but that's why I got a hotel. <laughs> I have, I camped in this just recently with my friend Jared and he got a nice buck. And I'm just not a fan of camping in a tent in single digits. I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry, people. Group of mule deer does there. It's nice. Nice spot the glass. Um, I know when the rut gets kicked in, it's going to be a lot better here. But I can, every, everything right here I can shoot from here. It's nice having a long range rifle. Just got to find a big one. And conditions have to be right. I don't like shooting through heavy wind and stuff. Usually if a heavy wind kicks in, I try to get closer. But day before season, and then I have to throw in all that blaze orange that they make you do here in the state. Because there's not, people aren't smart enough to know their target. Well, it's a cold one this morning. <clears throat> First day of my Colorado season. I'm just waiting for the sun to rise and I'm um, gonna layer up, throw my blaze orange on and hit the hills, hike all day. I've packed a lot of food, a lot of water. I'm planning to be out all day. So let's see if we can make something happen. Got the long range gun, the G7 range finder. It wasn't too long after, and I spotted this really big buck. I was in panic mode. I dropped right to my belly. I ranged him at 450 yards, and I was scrounging around for a rest, just hoping that I can squeeze off a solid shot.
first day of season. He looks really nice. I can't wait to see him. Whew. Okay, so I got my buck. I, can, I see him. Let's see what, he's, what he is. Holy smokes. Yes. That thing has some character. So stuck in the rut, 2019. We are having a phenomenal year this year. Look at this thing. <laughs> I did not think this was, this was gonna happen. Wow. Look at this. Look at that buck. Look at that buck. You guys, I am, I am lost for words. This thing just has, it's just, I love trash. I love this so much. Um, what a phenomenal year it's been for me this year. I've been very fortunate. So, a little bit about this hunt. Um, so, some of my good friends told me about this unit, and I was able to pick up a tag here. And um, tons of people, though. I already started seeing it yesterday. There's just camps and camps and camps. And I was, it was wearing me a little bit. But I got legs, and I like to hike. A lot of people don't like to, to hike as much as I do. So, um, although I did have a tent, I stayed in a hotel because it's been really cold at night. Um, this morning it was negative one degrees Fahrenheit. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'll, I'll do the hotel. <laughs> so I stayed in a cheap hotel. It's, it's a nice hotel. Um, and then I came up here this morning, um, waited for daylight, and some hunters parked right in front of me and just started going out and hiking. And I was, I was so, discouraged a little bit but I just thought to myself well just got to be the early bird got to get ahead of them and um and I actually I just I actually took a different route than where I saw those hunters hike but I ended up on the same ridge with them but I ended up being slightly ahead and I did see some does this morning and then but what I like to do is I like to hike glass hike glass and I'll I'll glass a timber patch or even this this aspen grove I glassed this aspen grove probably six or seven times and I still almost walked past this buck. Um, I got up on the ridge here, 450 yards, saw this buck staring at me. Um, I, I'm solo, so I had to set up the camera all by myself, everything like that. As I was setting up the camera, I looked behind me and these guys are skyline, walking down, walking the same ridge I am. And I, I'm so worried, I'm like this buck's gonna run, this buck's gonna run, hurry, hurry, hurry. So I got that camera on, turned on the camera, and then I had to shoot next to the camera, pull up the gun, ranged um it was around 450 yards told me to the g7 told me to dial 4.4 and aimed right behind the shoulder on the other side boom dropped and so and just walking up here i i knew he had character but i didn't know what to expect i love that it's almost like a present you you're just you're like what did i just kill i don't know this is going to be crazy to see it and man this thing has points just going every which direction. This thing is awesome. This is a great, great buck. I could not be more happy. I am so glad I did this hunt. It is so nice to hunt in an area with no wolves. It's just, it's just a night and day difference with quality of wildlife. Um, unfortunately, I know Colorado is talking about releasing wolves here, and that that could, that can hurt it really bad. But it's good to see that there's still some quality bucks left. I mean, I just can't believe in in a week's time, my friend and I both killed masher bucks on video. What a buck! I'm gonna pack them all out. I'm even gonna pack. I'm gonna pack the cape. I don't know if guys, I'm broke. Okay, I I don't know if I can afford a mount right now. But my brother said that you're gonna regret it if you don't mount this one. So. Decisions, decisions. I'll pack out the cape. I can always texture miss will usually take the cape anyway, so. Buck on the ground. All right. Got him all the bone in the bag. Oh man, I got him caped out. Just in case I want to get him mounted. But I got the skull too, so. Load him up. All right, so I have the meat. I'm gonna make a second trip for the cape and horns. I got all day. It's just 
Enjoy it. All right, meat's in the pickup. Now let's get that horn and cape. And I brought my little walking stick this time. This will be nice. Public land solo film hunt. Can't get any better than that. That is a big buck. He might actually be my biggest buck of all time. I can't wait to get a tape on those on those antlers. But regardless of the score, I'm so happy to be able to get this buck here. Make sure to subscribe for more stuck and rub videos. Thank you for watching.